Have you ever picked up a leaf and thought, this is something really special? Well, that's because it is. The leaf is one of the most important things in our entire living planet. It collects rays from the sun and transforms them into the nutrients and the leaves for any creatures that eat the leaves, and also oxygen. It is so compact, but it has such an important job. It's part of the cycle of life, and it's really magnificent. When you look closely, you see details on a leaf that are just like our own body. Like us, leaves grow, they make very good use of water, they have pigmentation or color, and they're often symmetrical. Because leaves have so many differences, they help us tell plants apart, and they are so plentiful. There are leaves everywhere, and we can find lots of uses for them. There's probably a leaf looking at you right now through your window. People are inspired by leaves and it shows in our art. This is an art form from Japan named as Ochiba. It means fallen leaf art. The idea is that anyone can make this art by arranging leaves. It can only be beautiful for a short while though because we know it will blow away. In Kenya, artists use banana leaves to make art. They can cut them, arrange them, and glue them down for lots of really fine detail. Artists from all over the world are inspired by leaf shapes and details. This dish is well over a thousand years old from, from China. A little more recent is this art by Henri Matisse. He was so inspired by leaf shapes, he would cut them out of paper and glue them into a collage. And there are artists who like to challenge themselves to really show exactly how a leaf looks in real life. They often call themselves botanical artists. Most of the art you've seen in this video so far is not photographs, but paintings. Try and imagine how long artists like Jessica Shepard had to stare at a leaf to create this painting. Artists like Andy Goldsworthy like to go out into nature and find the leaves and the place they're going to create art. He used the colors of leaves to really surprise us. Rachel Austin from Portland, Oregon really focuses on the shapes of leaves. She knows that spending time outside can be very calming. Make sure and give yourself time to look around outside at all the different leaf shapes you can find. Let's practice drawing the shapes of leaves. You can pause the video here and try drawing some of these cool shapes on your paper. Each of these shapes actually has a name. You can also Closely inspect your leaves and find the tip and the veins and the midrib, which is that big vein going down the center. The petiole is the thin neck part and the axle connects it to the stem. In the book Leaf Man, Lois Ellert creates pictures with real leaves. Here we have a leaf man with eyes and a nose. She sometimes cuts her leaves to make things like fruits and vegetables. And she even creates animals like fish and turtles. But she knows when the leaves blow away, then the leaf man has somewhere else to be. I want you to think about what you can make out of leaves. Collect leaves outside, small, large, long, and short and see what you can make. Maybe you can make a fairy. Maybe you can make butterflies or other insects. Take your time and arrange your leaves on a paper or a board. And then share your art with others. Here I am tilting my computer screen so I can share it on Seesaw with other artists.